Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Well, it's a pretty exciting morning, actually. Uh, last night, I'm perusing some social media and I come across an Acer 24 watt laser. And I'm like, wait a second, what? What is this? L2 24 watt laser? Well, evidently, almost nobody knows about this thing. It is brand new. And uh, even if you do a video search, the only thing that I could find was uh, this video, which is five seconds long. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so this is the Acer L2, and there's a 12, there's a 24, and there's a 36 watt engraver. And I got to say, this is the best diode laser yet, as far as, you know, just reading about it. Now, Acer, it's really weird because they just came on the scene. And I wasn't really expecting any more competition. You have so many laser engravers out there. I felt like the market was kind of saturated. And, you know, Xtool, of course, being number one because they have commercials everywhere. And they built a decent machine. But then along came Acer and just kind of blew away everybody. Uh, you'll notice like even uh, people like Louisiana Hobby Guy really loved it. Uh, the Clack Shack, he built a whole enclosure for it. Now he has all of the lasers. If he wanted to put the X tool in here, he'd put the X tool in here. But he decided to use the uh, Acer. Now these are two people that I think give it to you pretty straight. And uh, I've really heard a lot of good reviews about the Acer. Now, I was in talks with them, but uh, all they had, they had sold out. All they had was the 5 watt. And I told them, yeah, no, I should have, you know, just to work with them. But, you know, I didn't have any use for a 5 watt laser. I had the uh, Laser Master 3, the 10 watt at the time. Uh, wasn't loving it, but I couldn't go back to 5 watts. So I am very excited to be able to work with this machine soon. Uh, it is just amazing. Let, I, let's go over some of what makes it, what I say is by far the best uh, diode laser out there. By far, by far. Blazing fast speed of 54,000 millimeters per minute. Now that does come out to about 900 millimeters a second. Um, that is like, I believe, way faster than even desktop CO2s. Correct me if I'm wrong. So um, there are some things to it. I mean, this isn't going to replace a desktop CO2, but for a lot of ways, it will, and for a way cheaper price. Now, these new uh, Acers are a little bit expensive uh, when it comes to the other ones. I mean, it's like $900 for a 10-watt. So unless this is something that you're actually going to need these upgrades, I mean, I think they're having a sale for the P10 for only $460. So that may be a better way to go for many people out there. In fact, one of my viewers just was talking to me about getting some other machine. And I said, hey, go get the P10. Because I just feel like Acer is a much better machine. You have a lot of accessories that you can pick up for it. And the price is right. But let's get back to this new amazing machine. <laughs> Advanced Z-axis function of autofocusing to ensure depth and precision. Now, this is, we're going to get into all of this. Intelligent control terminal enables resuming of engraving even after power loss. Oh, that is so nice. I mean, now you don't got to get a, a separate power thing just in case you lose power. Up to 24 watts of cutting 20 millimeter wood, 12 millimeter acrylic in one pass. Okay. You know, the child safety lock, the flame detector, these are all great. Um, these can be the downside of any laser. So I hope, hopefully, they work okay. Um, these flame detectors, wow, they can go off when sunlight hits them. It could be really a pain. So they're saying all of these have a less than point, uh, 0.1 millimeter spot. Meaning even if you were to go all the way up to a 36 watt, you're still going to get, because I, I usually run at 0.1 millimeters. 
you're still going to get a pretty good engrave and amazing cuts. I think I'm personally looking at the 24 watt here, and that looks like a great spot. So let's get more into the details of what makes this so new and exciting. Okay, so the 5400 minimum millimeters a minute, uh, 900 millimeters a second, greatly improves productivity and reduces work time by 40 to 60 percent. I mean, who doesn't want that? When you can get a diode that's going to be as fast or faster than a CO2 laser, <laughs> that's just, that's great. That would have helped me out so much. I'm getting ready for a show right now, and I am making so much stuff. Now, I have the longer Ray 5 20 watt, and it's really been fantastic. I can't say enough about that machine. It is really held up well, but uh, being able to do it so much faster with this you know, with a standard of 30,000 millimeters a minute, that's just, that's just fine. The thing, when it gets up to speeds that are super fast, a lot of times it, the lasers just didn't have the power to be able to do anything at those speeds. So it didn't make any sense to even use them. And I'm thinking the 24 watt and the 36 watt are going to be best used for this. I mean, your 12 watts probably not going to do a lot at 30,000 millimeters per minute. And as it says here, find 6,000 millimeters a minute for the highest level of precision and detail. So as for this function, I really want to get a hold of it and check it out and see, is it useful? But it is something very promising. It's really not the number one reason why I would want to get this machine, even though I think that's super awesome. Resume engraving with power failure. Now, that is, that is one heck of a reason. I have had so many times or just an interruption or something. You know, I'm in an old building and power sometimes is a little iffy. So that's pretty neat. Z-axis automatically syncs. Effortlessly cut different thicknesses with the automatic Z-axis syncing. So this is helps with the, the focus when you're doing larger thicknesses, right? So that because the focus, the laser hits in a certain spot. Well, this can auto sync and help cut through thicker things. I think that is really a big upgrade. They, it really seems like they took the things they learned from making their other lasers and they have added it to this. So that is pretty exciting because I do a lot of cutting. And that's why the 24 and the 36 are really, you know, seem to be the one that I would be looking at. I am very happy with the 20 watt. So a 24, probably really nice for me. Cross-positioning autofocus. Well, this is something I'm going to have to learn a lot more about. They explain it here, but it doesn't completely make sense that I can really understand how this autofocus works. It appears that it has a laser beam that actually does the focus. Now, does that like line, is it something you focus, but it, it's, it gives you crosshairs to show you when you're in focus? I'm not sure. Uh, it, I am really happy that this is happening way better than some, you know, pull down lever or something. So that's really, really nice. LED laser display output. Now it has some lasers on the front that tell you how much power you're using. Um, but I guess uh, they're saying it will also tell you if there's something wrong with it, that, you know, it's not showing that it's doing enough power. They have upgraded the motherboard, so it gives you USB, HDMI, Type-C, uh, air auxiliary interface, so you can turn on the air on and off. Uh, that is really cool. It just seems like they've done so much. Offline engraving and cutting. So now you have a display, which you can just, you know, do your stuff offline. I believe they always had that. So now we get to this high-power 24-watt laser engraver. The next level working effect, power up your projects. So it appears this is four six watt diodes, which would make sense. Now I did notice a typo here. So if anybody from Aidster is watching this video, I don't think that it can cut through 40 millimeters of black acrylic with ease. I could be wrong, but I believe that's over an inch. Um, that will be interesting. So if I am incorrect and that, that should be 40 millimeters, uh, let me know. But I believe up top it said 12 millimeters. So uh, user-friendly design. And, you know, how much it will cut through really isn't that important to me. I mean, as long as it's going to get through 
uh, eighth inch hardwood with ease, which, you know, my 20 watt is doing now. So, you know, I don't really need it to do much more than that. I'm not trying to cut through two by fours. <laughs> Okay, they have upgraded everything. So this is not completely compatible with P10 or P20 as they have upgraded this. Now, you know, for somebody like me who's doing things as a business, you know, I, I, this is what I really appreciate is uh, things like the, the linear, like the rails here, you know, they're not running on wheels. Everything is a lot more precision. Enclosed timing belts. So they're not getting dirty. They're not getting stuck in there. And now you can adjust the uh, air output with light burn. That is going to be so perfect because now you can, you know, run air during your cutting and not engraving and things like that. It's going to be fantastic. So, man, this is a, this is a double layer f air filtration cover re resulting in better dust clean and preventing dirty clogs. Okay, I have no idea, but uh, then we get to the safety equipment. Like I said again, I mean, this is great, especially if you have kids or dogs or whatever, being able to have the safety equipment. This is usually the uh, worst part of any laser, in my opinion, because this is the area where a lot of things go wrong. You end up with a flame detection in the middle of a job or... Um, something like that and it just you know drives you absolutely crazy but i get it that these these safety things need to be on machines but i have to say i am super excited about this i think this is going to be the best diode laser on the market uh what will come next i don't know i mean we're seeing so much innovation going on uh, you probably saw my last video on desktop lasers, and there's so much innovation there with X-Tool. Uh, not ready to recommend that that one, the P2 there, but, uh, you know, there is a lot going on with lasers right now, and uh, I am going to stay up to date, as you could see. I mean, in a lot of times, I am the first one to bring out new news about what's going on in lasers. So like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I will keep you updated and hopefully I'll have one of these machines soon. All right. See you in the next one. Love y'all.